Welcome back to the channel everybody. Before I go any further, a huge thank you to Little Biscuit, Alistair M. Kerr, Brian Bora, Young Pepper, and Mask TV. <laughs> now if you're wondering what was all that about, well in my previous video I said, you know, if you've got a spare dollar or two, or pound or two, and you want to do one of those thanks thing, I think they're called super thanks or something, you'll, you'll see the little icon at the bottom of the video, um, yeah, those wonderful people stepped up to the plate to show support for my channel, uh, and Alistair and Kerr, even more support, because that one right there is already a VIP member, so I thank you, um, yeah, before I go any further, please do, 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 check out these two YouTube channels. Now, one doesn't know I'm gonna do this. In fact, both of them don't know I'm gonna do this. There's two reasons why I'm doing it. The first one is Mask TV. Not just because they threw a couple of dollars my way. No, not because of that. I actually watched this content. Oh my gosh, check it out, Mask TV, yeah? Now, the other one is Happy's Airsoft. H-A-P-P-Y apostrophe S Airsoft, check it out. Decent little channel, deserves way more subs, deserves way more views. Let's do this, people. I'm still going through my backlog of unopened box from about two or more years ago. I went into my storage and I found that bad boy right there. It's the Aries SMG 001. And it's a complete coincidence that I bought it from. No, they did not send me this for free. This is not sponsored. They did not support my channel in any way. I literally bought it from them. But isn't it a coincidence? 001 was bought from 01. <laughs> anyway, let's get it open. Now the thing I love about this, which may be confusing to some people, is that yes, it's from Aries and uh, that's your instruction manual. So one of those fold out things, but um, yeah. Okay, instruction manual. Yeah, as I was saying, what may confuse some people is that there's so many different variants as in different companies and different styles. This one, my Airsoft friends, ha, is the Ump 45 because not only is it the ump, it's got the markings on there too. So I've got a funny feeling that Umarex might have something to do with this, but the OEM and the makers is Aries. First thing I'm gonna do, cleaning and unjamming rod. We've also got what I believe is a 110 round mag, but wait for it. Come on. You know what I'm gonna say, don't you? Perfect for movie making if you film it from a certain angle. Anyway, yes, nice. And now to the ump itself. I know some of you are getting the ump with me, but <laughs> I know it's called a UMP. Um, here we go. Oh, look at this baby. Oh, and does she pack some weight? Ho, 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 ho. She's a beauty. Oh, and as I said, this is why I think Umarex has something to do with this. Look, 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 look. It's got the actual trades on the bolt, just like it's legit cousin. And uh, look at the bottom of the mag. Now I do believe the whole trades thing, when it comes to the European market, I think Umarex handles that. If you're in the United States, I believe Elite Force. Could be wrong, you can let me know. I know for a fact when it comes to the blocks, you know, the blocks 17 and all of them, yeah. Uh, yeah, you Umarex, Europe, UK, Elite Force, America. Do you know, it just dawned on me, this looks rather exquisite. This really wouldn't look out of place in one of those posh art installations. You've got this marvellous airsoft mic box with the UMP graciously um, installed by the artist over this um, um, rather... Uh, how can I put it? Um, what am I trying to say? Um, it wouldn't look out of place at Her Majesty's Palace in Bridgerton. <laughs> so this is one of those primaries where if you're fed up of the old Mike 4s, um, this is a good alternative. 
absolutely love the way this looks. It's got some very cool features on there. Let's just start straight away by showing you the stock. Nice rubberized little slim butt pad right there. And what I'm going to do right here, I'm going to flip the script and show you the other side immediately because we're still on the stock, okay? So this is the other side of said stock. You press on this big old button right here to release the stock. Now we can go back. It was at this moment he knew. He f***ed up. Oh, s***. Oh, f***. Well, that's a good start. I accidentally damaged the battery cable wire whilst I was checking just before I hit record um, how to get to the battery compartment. So uh, I just got to fix that and I'll be right back. Here, have a commercial. <laughs> right, as you can see, I've stripped this down. Um, <laughs> this thing is as dead as a doornail. So I'm going to have to look at this a bit more closely. Uh, um... Okay. <laughs> Now, if this doesn't prove that I keep things 100 with you and keep it all real, what I could have done when I noticed I had messed up and I had damaged the battery cable, okay, um, I could have just abandoned this video, went and, un and uh, opened up a another one of my many unopened Airsoft uh, boxes and just do a completely different video. But no, I'd like to invite you along on my journey of sorrow and pain with this particular unboxing. So let me quickly explain what had happened. See, what had happened was, <laughs> I folded the stock, and those of you who are familiar with this model, you know that there's an additional little door that you've got to open once you've folded the stock to get to the battery compartment. I opened up that little door, I pulled out the Tamiya plug and the cable. Everything's correct, so I knew exactly what type of battery I would need to connect. But what I didn't do, what I failed to do, is to push the cable and the plug back into its little hole and close the door. What I did, like an idiot, is I slammed shut that little door on the cable, still sticking out with the Tamiya plug, not realizing that at the time, I then slammed closed the stock Effectively, I pretty much almost cut the cable in half. Now, at this point, there was no battery in there and I hadn't put a battery on there, okay? So, the last clip that you saw where I was like, <clears throat> using naughty words, um, that's when I noticed my error. So, I've repaired it, as you saw in the very last clip, Everything's fine. It's got a bit of crude electrical tape, but it's properly soldered and everything. Um, but for some reason, now that I've introduced the battery pack to it, because remember, I didn't put a battery pack on it before. This is the first time. It's still dead. The UMP does not work. And I'm going to prove to you now that it's got nothing to do with the cabling or the battery or the Tamiya plug, because there is power going to the actual circuit board. Keep watching. I've already tested to make sure that the actual battery pack is working, which it is. What I want to make sure is that there is actually power going to this unit right here from the battery pack, okay? So the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to put my multimedia, multimedia, multimeter on there and then on there. And if that goes up, we know it's being fed power. There you go. Yeah, it's been fed power. So I I'm not sure why this is DOA. So I'm gonna look into it further. Oh, um, I'm gonna humbly ask if there's any of you out there that might have an idea what's going on. Literally nothing happens when I pull the trigger. Absolutely nothing. It's as if there's no power going to it at all. Nothing happens, no matter what. I've even pressed a little switch here to see if it will um, activate it, nothing happens. Now I know there's power going into the motor because you saw me test on the circuit board there. Um, could it be the motor? Is there an ECU in here that stops it? I think there is an ECU because, yeah, you've got uh, different bursts um, on this thing. 
But anyway, if anyone's got any idea, comment section would be helpful. If not, in about two weeks, I'll just send it off and get it repaired. So there you go, if that isn't proof that I do not test these things until I actually come to the day of filming, there you go. I'm keeping it real and I do it for you. Thanks for watching. Oh, wait, might as well keep up with the new tradition I've got now. Ready? 